they did a good job of, you know, going out there and playing under the circumstances. I don't know how they do it. These guys have an unbelievable ability to go out and play at an incredible level. The rookie Peyton Pritchard was the Boston Celtics saving grace with the game winner tonight against the Miami Heat. And it was a matchup that came down to the wire. Marcus Smart missed a layup, but with 0.2 seconds left, Pritchard was right there for the putback to help the Celtics close out with the 107 to 105 victory. And even though it was an exciting matchup and the Celtics got the win, the focus wasn't on the game. It was on the recent events taking place in our country. In post game, we heard from both Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum on taking a stand to inspire change and come together. I think it's obvious. It's 2021. I don't think anything has changed. Um, we want to still acknowledge that. We want to still push for the change that we're looking for. Um, but as of yet, we have not seen it. Um, we want to continue to keep conversations alive and do our part. They're protesting the Capitol, or riding the Capitol, you know, for losing an election. You know, it, it, it's two different things. And I want the same energy on TV, you know, to be, you know, they're thugs and criminals. You know, the same terms that they use, you know, when they see our people, you know, protesting for losing our lives. And, uh, you know, I think it's bigger than basketball, it's bigger than the game today, but I just felt like that, you know, the statement, us talking about it, us going on the court on national TV um, could, you know, shed more light. Using this platform that we have is important to us. We are role models, we are members of our community, we do have people looking up to us. And we want the next generation to know where we stand. You know, we want the next generation to know, like, hopefully it's better than this one. So we want to continue to keep those conversations alive. We don't. We want to compartmentalize, but at the same time, we want to voice our opinions through the media, through our platforms, through our influence, to let people know, like, this is not okay. Um, it's people that have lost their lives that we feel like shouldn't have lost their lives, regardless of the situation. I think deadly force should be the last result in terms of handling, you know, uh, an, an equation or a problem. And, and that's where we stand on it.